You can even forgive that little twig in the way. The wing colors there as well. Primary feathers, those longer, stiffer feathers on the wing. Very important for flight, obviously. They've got the black tips and then that bright sort of turquoise blue band running across it. And the black. The sound they make. Close to that, not quite exactly the same, but similar. Only the males call, the females don't call with kingfishers or with the woodland kingfisher. The males, of course, call to attract females or to find them. Looking through the twigs, you can see the red of its head there. It's a cardinal woodpecker. Sorry, not a cardinal woodpecker. Looks like maybe a golden tailed woodpecker. Sorry, I was just trying to see it through the twigs there. Cardinal is a little bit smaller. You get a variety of woodpeckers out here. Let's just see. Maybe we get another glimpse of this one. Cardinal is a bit smaller. Basically, the bearded, the golden-tailed, and the Bennett woodpecker, all three of them quite similar. Tried to look and it flew off as we stopped. A striking bird, also that crest. Can't see much of it at the moment. It's all flat at the moment, but they can make a beautiful big crest when they when they open up those feathers. It's the call they make. It's actually where the name derives from. As well. over the world, you get them in Europe as well. Just different species. See quite a long, almost pin-like beak, perfectly adapted for getting into little holes under grass roots. Quite often if it's rained, you'll see them on lawns as well, on the lodges here or short grass areas, just being able to extract little worms and insects from underground of that sharp beak. Well, actually, we try and see how close we can get to the face. This one is relatively close to us. Beautiful details as well in the throat and around the face, the eye area. You see that black line that's typical of your insect or diurnal hunting birds. Just look at the patterns, those little white streaks. Also sort of slight sort of green. Both birds at the moment seem to be on the verge of striking. Vibrating. Should be able to hear that. Jan, can you hear that? You should be able to. Just that sort of constant. <laughs> I can't mimic this guy. Something like that. Now, if we were researchers, we could say that maybe the sound is made by vibrating the tail. The sound is exactly in time with the tail's movement. Beautiful. Probably yeah, that was the Warburg's eagle call. Similar sounding to most eagles, but just a slightly different 
variation. Just in general, seeing a giant eagle owl is always very exciting. To actually see one early morning busy washing and cleaning itself is almost unique. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful bird, and I think this is the one that we saw a while back. Yeah, on Philemon's cut line, we've also heard it a few times around camp. So this one is um, certainly going to feature more and more, hopefully. Generally speaking, not that hard to find them in the day if they're visible. Obviously, if they're nice and somewhere where they're sleeping in a thick bush and nothing's seen them, you don't see them, but you can probably hear all the noise. There's hornbills calling, grey luries calling, aramark babblers, robins. You can hear a whole bunch of birds all making alarm calls. For some reason, birds like this guy even less than they do eagles. There's always birds mobbing a giant eagle owl. Obviously the owl can't care too much about that. It's not like they're going to harm him. It's just that they don't want to... Ah, it's, had a <laughs> it's beautiful seeing it sitting in the water like that. It had a proper bath as well. It was sitting probably two-thirds of its body into the water. You can see now a little bit of shaking and cleaning. Also cleaning the beak. Quite fierce predators as well, your this bird. They, I was just reading up the other day again. They prey on. That's sort of roughly what they sound like. It's a bit difficult to mimic. If you hear it sometimes at night, it sounds like a baboon that's making a. Uh. Honestly, you can still see a bit of yellow on the head as well. Black on the neck, it doesn't have the full mature colors yet. Very beautiful birds. We've seen them a few times the other day. Managed to call them in successfully. They great birds of threats. As soon as there's any eagle or falcon or something around, they're normally one of the main antagonists. 11, 12 birds even per family unit or group. A lot of bird activity around this morning. It's always easy to show it to you. A lot of birds tend to fly away as you get a bit closer, but Generally speaking, in study areas, some of these birds get rings so that they can follow movements and so on. But you only can really get the information from those rings if you find a, a dead bird or an injured bird. Look at that. It's quite a beautiful animal. Again, they've got such a bad rep. An association of carrion and carcasses always very strong with them. But if you look at it carefully, it's actually quite a beautiful bird. Soft feathers around the neck 